Hello, my name is Joe Lowe, and I'm the Regional Sales Manager for Madcon in Southeast Asia. Today, I'd like to present to you on how to increase production efficiency for beverage manufacturers. The topics that I'd like to cover are the challenges faced by beverage manufacturers in today's ever-changing environment, the traditional approaches that are used to produce powder beverages, the solution that we offer, and a case study of our customer Vetra in Malaysia. The number one challenge faced by beverage manufacturers is to produce an increasing and high varieties of recipes to meet consumers' dietary requirements. With a growing demand for more varied product recipes and to respond to the new dietary trends, including lactose-free and veganism, beverage manufacturers are having to change how they produce their products from the processes they use to the powder handling equipment they choose. The traditional fixed line manufacturing methodology is perfect for companies producing the same product day in day out. But with today's market requirement for variety recipes and batch sizes, manufacturers are having difficulty keeping up with demand and running an efficient operation. Beverage manufacturers typically produce three to four recipes batches over the course of a week producing 1,000 to 3,000 kg of product per hour. Many of these recipes are made up of powder ingredients that are formulated and blended to create a homogeneous mixture or product. The second challenge faced by beverage manufacturers is cleaning downtime during recipes changeover. The mixing process can be one of the pinch points for beverage manufacturers as this stage in the process is where the highest amount of production downtime occurs. Fixed mixers such as ribbon or paddle mixers that can accomplish fast, high volume blending of ingredients are now not that flexible in meeting today's demands. Recipe changeovers lead to hours of cleaning downtime during which there is no production. The other challenge faced by beverage manufacturers is the risk of cross-contamination during recipes changeover and ineffective cleaning. To perform a full clean that will remove the risk of cross-contamination, the blenders have to be stopped, taken apart, blades removed and washed. They must then be dried before the next batch can begin to ensure there is no risk to the next batch. This cleaning process often requires a full day with operators focusing on the cleaning regime. Any shortcuts in the cleaning process can result in cross-contamination from recipe to recipe, as product ingredients can build up in hard-to-access areas. This will also lead to products being reworked, recalled, and the risk of reputation being tarnished in the market. Lastly, we have the challenge of maintaining consistent mixing quality for every recipes produced. Manufacturers have to deal with ingredient segregation issues during transfer and discharge. For example, three-in-one beverage manufacturers experience high levels of quality issues because these recipes contain a collection of particles that have different sizes and structures in the mixture. These are commonly prone to blend segregation as the particles move apart during discharge. Manufacturers using butterfly valves or slide valves often experience segregation issues due to core flow and rolling of powder particles from the container. All this will lead to inconsistent product quality in the market. Traditionally, there are two main approaches by beverage manufacturers to produce powder beverage. The first one is by using a pneumatic conveying system for bulk product conveying, weighing and mixing. This solution is suitable for manufacturers to produce recipes that requires no cleaning or a limited number of recipes. Pneumatic conveying systems are also very difficult to clean thoroughly. If the range of final products are all quite similar, then it's not such a problem as common flavors or smells are shared. But with today's need for more variation of recipes, stronger flavor options and trendy additions, manufacturers are forced to carry out thorough cleaning and surface testing to attempt to control product integrity issues. The second traditional approach to produce powdered beverages is by using multiple couple fixed mixer system with all process connected. This means 
producing multiple recipes at the same time with multiple mixes. This approach is better to produce lower volume products and a high variety of recipes compared to pneumatic conveying system. However, such solution requires additional capital costs, additional overheads, additional space requirements, and almost impossible to automate in today's information age when we are moving towards Industry 4.0. Here are some of the features of traditional approach to produce powdered beverages. You can pay manufacture your recipes from light color to dark color. Additional storage costs to, pro to store products that are manufactured in advance. Additional cost of stock in the warehouse and the risk of damaged products. You duplicate and dedicate processes for individual higher volume recipes which require additional costs and additional overheads or operators. You clean during recipes changeover which is labor intensive and time consuming. Cleaning downtime will be costly as your production is stopped for recipe changeover. In addition, it is difficult to validate the cleaning in between batches of different recipes. The solution MacCon offers IBC blending. Beverage manufacturers identify key benefits to switching to a deep couple and contain IBC system. The MacCon Intermediate Bulk Container IBC system enables manufacturers to switch between recipes without the common downtime issues caused by cleaning at the mixer stage as we discussed earlier. By using an IBC system, you adopt lean manufacturing practices that have the ability to reduce your overall manufacturing costs, increasing the return on your investment. A MacCon IBC system enables variety batch production and quick changeover at the blending stage as the IBC becomes the blending vessel. This method means that manufacturers can be more flexible in production and manufacture to meet demand with small inventory levels and minimal work in progress. The advantages of contained processing Keeping ingredients contained is vital for beverage manufacturers that use free-flowing powders for several reasons. Aside from the high cost of wasted additives and flavorings, airborne powders represent, present health and safety issues for operators and introduce a risk of cost contamination which can negatively affect production. Unlike traditional couple systems, parallel processing is achieved by separating or decoupling a manufacturing process so that formulation, mixing, packing, and cleaning can all take place independently. The act of separating these manufacturing stages creates the potential for multiple processes to take place simultaneously, allowing manufacturers to produce more than one batch or different recipe batches at any given time. The separating of the manufacturing process can be achieved by introducing an intermediate bulk container IBC system where individual containers are used to transport batches of product from one process to the next. Ingredients remain within their dedicated IBC throughout the full production process only leaving the container during discharge at the packing stage. Implementing this type of flexible and intuitive production systems brings with it many key benefits include, including improved efficiency, reduced downtime and minimal cross-contamination. By equipping the MacCon IBC blender with a high-speed intensifier bar, we are able to offer the best of both worlds. Manufacturers can choose to use their IBC blender in the traditional way or they can attach the high shear blades to blend fluid additions or agglomerated powders to form a flawless end product. Having the option to apply more intense shear also gives you the potential of shorten mixing cycles, enhancing efficiency across the manufacturing process. In fact, some beverage mixes can be made in a single stage process vastly improving capability. 
even when combining high shear capabilities with an IBC blender, you still have the ability to save time when it comes to cleaning down times. Both the IBC and the blade bar from the mixing vessel are cleaned offline, which reduces the time to take your IBC blender to get back into active production once more. Simply have a second intensifier so that one is used in production while one is in cleaning. Macon's IBC system has been designed and developed to overcome all of the problems associated with powder handling. Originally patented and designed by us, each Macon IBC has our Conewaf technology at its heart, which has been proven to overcome even the most challenging of issues. This unique technology works to address the issues associated with powder handling such as product flow. With the integral cone valve vibration and variable lift height ensure full control over product flow without the need for additional feeders. Free flowing materials can be controlled with small lift heights or sticky materials can be prompt to flow. Next, segregation. Our unique cone valve technology encourages the powder to move under mass flow by holding back the powder in the center of the IBC and stimulating flow from the sides, so that material discharges as first in first out, thereby maintaining the integrity of the mix and preventing segregation or demixing. Lastly, cleaning. The simple design of our IBC makes it easy to clean, resulting in minimal risk of cross-contamination or bacterial buildup. This reduces the costly risk of product rework. Macon IBC blending can integrate the use of NIR near infrared during blending, allowing for constant monitoring of the blend and ensuring an accurately mixed recipe. NIR removes the requirement for invasive sampling techniques that is prone to error and the risk of cross contamination as the container has to be opened. Mixed validation is quick and easy to accomplish with NIR providing real-time results while the blender is in motion and pinpoints the exact moment when the recipe becomes fully homogenized. This data can be used to program the blender so that it automatically applies the correct mixing time. If manufacturers are curious to test the results of using NIR, you could contact Maccon's global testing facilities to book a demonstration of mixed validation with NIR using your actual ingredients. Barrage manufacturers use IBC blending to meet demand and remain competitive. The new market direction has forced beverage manufacturers to identify and adopt new workflows to meet the changing demands of the market while staying competitive. They have successfully used Macon IBC technology, including IBC blending and our Conewaf technology. With the Macon system, they have been able to facilitate fast and easy recipe changeover, increasing their product portfolio, improve their overall product quality and consistency, increase production output and reduce cleaning down times. Maximize efficiency by removing bottlenecks at filling and packing stations. To end this webinar, I would like to show you a case study video of our customer wet truck in Malaysia. Thank you.